All right, so this is the finished product. Okay, so this is the Eket. So there's two of these, and then there's the side little cubicles. I like it because it is very slim, just under 11 inches deep. It's about 72 inches wide. And well, it's very easy to open and it gives us quite a lot of storage. So here are a couple of tips about this particular unit when you're building it. Now I came into a lot of problems and I'm gonna share these tips with you. What's good everybody? On today's video, we're gonna take this out of here. We're gonna repaint this entire wall and we're gonna redecorate it with the new IKEA Eket system. So it's composed of eight pieces two of the 70 by 25 by 70 centimeter cabinets that are bumped beside each other. They have doors. These two stackable, smaller 13 3 quarter by 9, 7 8, and 13 3 quarter um, shelving units that are basically open. These do not have doors. It's going to be suspended up in the air with four rails. So these are our rails. Now IKEA has introduced a new system of putting cabinets together and we're going to be trying this out right now. So this is first the cat. So you want to be very, very slow, meticulous, and careful when you're putting together furniture like this from IKEA. These are what's gonna close and open the doors until you close it. See, that catches it. Step three, we're gonna attach this to that. Put this in, and then we press downwards. Another tip, when you're trying to align these, get a towel and a rubber mallet. Press down and it hit with this. This will not damage because it's rubber. So now we're going to take these parts, let's just hope that it turns out better than it looks. See, it just goes in as about as here. These are for your doors and this little metal peg or aluminum is going to go in here and that's what's going to open and close the door. You put this little Thing, silicone, whatever that is. In. So you get the solid peg at the bottom, and then you get the flexible one at the, bottom, at the top. And then when you place it in, also make sure that these magnetic things are already screwed in. And now we place the bottom one right in that little hole. Okay, and then this one, make sure you press this in, and it goes in straight. And that's just gonna slide right in. All right, there you go. We wanna make sure that this lines up with the other one. If it doesn't, then we're gonna have to, one by one, adjust these. That's why you don't want to put the mill on at the same time. Just put the bottom ones, one here, one here, then you put the doors on, and then you go slowly, one by one, while checking to make sure that this is level. This here is going to be off, like these will not align. If you put these plastic ends all at the same time without actually looking, okay? So my tip is to put the bottom three first. So your one, two, three, Check this side, make sure it's even, then continue. Start from the center and then work way down and up and then again, double check. Then do that side, check. And then finally, start from this one center, check. Then this, check. And then finally the last one. What I found is that I actually did all of them screwed up. So then I thought, okay, let me take these off and readjust them. So then I did it. I did one, worked, and then I put all three, and then again, it was skewed. So then I needed to go one by one and keep checking. The handles work like this, very easy. I wanna have these magnets facing outwards. And the screw goes in through this little peg, and this is what's actually capturing the magnet, but the magnet doesn't actually catch until you close it. See, that catches it. All right. Another huge thing, and this is what gave me the most trouble, is I put these doors in, first the wrong way so these were facing on the outside <clears throat> and once you put these in good luck getting them out meaning make sure that the strong peg 
the one that does not bend and flex in is at the bottom and then the one that flexes is on top make sure you don't get too solid and put them in because that was my first mistake and then it took me like 35 minutes to figure out how, uh, how do I want to do this another tip when you're trying to get this get a towel and a rubber mallet and when you're trying to align these press down and it hit with this this will not damage because it's rubber you still want to go gently so you want to go put this and then bang 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 so that's my tip on setting this up besides that I actually really like the way it looks the last step is putting the two shelves in you have two shelves these go in like this so they have to go right on here the thin part goes in like this and for whatever reason when they do they kind of go inwards again another serious flaw of this system in my opinion because you got to pull it out a little more okay okay now we go underneath you need to make sure that that goes in and this also it goes in that's the shelf so let's go and do the second one all right so this will be a cat 35 by 25 by 35 13 three quarters by 9 7 8 by 13 three quarters this goes but it could be used to stack things up like here that's kind of the cube that we're looking at so now let's go and put it together so very similar to the other one but there are some things that will make it a little easier you're looking for the item that says number one so number one has a deeper groove and that is where this has to go in so now we're going to grab the sides and then they're all going to go into the one so you're taking the thick part and you're lining them up like that just like that all right so just push it in and it's in i'm going to do the second one now Okay, you can lift it up and then this just has to be flush. Alright, so now that one is in here, you lift this up, press it in. There we go. Now, because the groove is deeper inside, you're actually going to have a little more space right here. That is going to allow you to put the top piece on. to do with one hand but let's see if I can all right so now you see that's flush that's flush if you're not getting this then you probably started with the wrong piece so reverse it and find the piece with number one so that's it so now we're just gonna snap it together and then we're gonna put all the pieces together on the rail the first step in putting up the rail is putting up the brackets the hardware and the actual rail this rail is what you screw into to the wall the last step so these have to be facing now. You're gonna note that there's a little lip there and there, and that is actually what's gonna go in here. So like this. So you wanna press that against it. Do it here, to All right, there you go. So now that's in, that's in. We take this and we place this right here, like that. Take this peg and then place it right into that hole to get a click all right it will go in just gotta there you go two clicks and you're in all right so three of the screws are in and now let's put on our cabinet all right so when you're putting the cabinets on your rails you're going to hear a click so the whole idea is to put these screws behind here and have it click. And then on the same note, you can still slide it back and forth. So and now we're finally, we're gonna go and put this over the top. So I kind of have it against, bumped against the wall and bring it down. And now I'll click, click, click. Okay, and now I can still move this and bump it against the other one. See that? Now if this is a little level, you wanna lift it out and then use that knob to raise it a little bit. And then that way it will be nice and flush. So this is it when it's finished. Um, we're just gonna putting up our wine rack system here. But these are the two small ones. I like it because it is very slim. It's only just under 11 inches deep. It's about 72 inches wide. Um, 
and we lifted it above the floor so it's floating and well it's very easy to open and it gives us quite a lot of storage now we could get additional shelving in here but honestly not important and these two definitely also help um, in um, changing the look and the style we could have gone for three of these for example but I think that would look just a little too boring so yeah the Aket is definitely a winner we sold the other one uh, and we only really paid an extra I think $30 for this entire set so definitely worth it so this is the Aket thanks for watching